This major is ideal for students who are interested in learning about the interaction between people and the environment. So how does the environment influence our activities and in turn, how do our activities change and alter the environment? If this sounds like you, welcome to day 64 of my 90 day challenge where for 90 days I am highlighting a college major, letting you know what it's about, what courses to expect in college and what are some of the career paths you can get into with these degrees. Today we're talking about human geography, so let's get started. Human geography is an interdisciplinary field that looks at the interaction between humans and the environment. How does the geographical environment affect humans and how humans affect or change the environment? According to Michigan State, human geographers are people who describe, analyze, and explain the arrangement of arts cultures and how they interact with the physical world. As an interdisciplinary field, this major is made up of several subfields, and this include the economical, cultural, social, health, population, historical, and political geography. In terms of incentives, according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, as of 2020, the median pay for geographers is about $85,000 a year, and this translates to about $31 an hour. When it comes to job outlook, the employment growth rate of geographers is on the decline by 1% from 2019 to 2029, when compared to the national average of all other occupations, which is about 4%. Now let's look at some of the courses to expect when majoring in human geography. Courses for this major are geared towards understanding the interaction between humans and the environment, how the environment or the geographical environment affects humans and how we change it. So you can expect courses such as Introduction to Human Geography, Introduction to Economic Geography, Introduction to Meteorology, Physical Geography, Environmental Geography, and World Regional Geography. Depending on your region of interest, you can also take electives in specific regions of the world. For example, you can take courses on Geography of the United States, geography of Asia, Africa, Latin America, Europe, and the Middle East. You'll also take courses in geographical information, geographical information systems, and quantitative methods for geographers. In addition to courses, you're also encouraged to participate in undergrad research, independent study, study abroad, or internships in order to graduate with a degree in human geography. It is therefore important to work with your academic advisor to make sure that you're planning out your semesters optimally and you're not wasting time and money taking unnecessary classes. Books and tuition can be very expensive. For a full list of courses offered for this major, specifically at Michigan State, I will leave a link in the description for you to check out after this video. Still with me? Let me know by recording this timestamp in the comment section below and let's look at some of the career paths you can get into with a degree in Human Geography. The Human Geography major equips you with transferable skills that are applicable in any career path that involves working with the environment and working with people. So with a degree in Human Geography, you could work as a consultant, a marketing analyst, a real estate professional or advisor, or even a regional or urban planner. You could work in areas such as government, consulting, urban and regional planning firms, marketing, real estate, tourism, or even transportation and supply chain management. Apart from industry or working for the government, you could also further your studies in grad school and work your way to becoming an academic professor. Do you know any human geography students or graduate? How about sharing this video with them to show them that you know something about their major? Also, if you want to learn more about college majors, careers, and undergrad research tips, consider subscribing, especially if you're a Michigan State University student because I use MSU resources as examples in most of my videos. Watch this video next and I will see you all tomorrow as we discuss geographic information science. Jackie Fi out. I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the clouds when.